Maybe for the next decade. development, yeah. I see that the, the BRI is not only based in commercial exchanges, but also uh, in finances, in, in development of uh, the trade of services, and also in developing together. Countries can, uh, are, for example, cooperating in developing technology together or exchanging human resources. So even cultural cooperation is, and it's very important uh, to promote international understanding. And at the same time, from the economic point of view, I don't see nowadays an alternative to the Belt and Road Initiative in the world. So the Belt and Road creates good outcomes to the states taking part in it, and other countries tend to join and give more importance to this initiative because it's what we have right now that can promote development, especially in the Global South. It is the multi-billion dollar project and uh, it has lifted poverty out of poverty for many, many people. So according to the data, more than 400,000 people have got jobs so because of the BRI. So the African people are riding the high-speed train. So Asian people are riding high-speed train. And high-speed train is not everywhere, even in some of the developed countries. So this is the good privilege for the developing world from China. So in the future, uh, I want to see the better connectivity in the sporting area, Asia. So it, it gets a lot of medals in Olympic Games. It gets a lot of gold medals in the Asian Games. So you guys need to give the sporting fellowship to the people. For example, if somebody from Nepal they wants to learn about ping pong, you can give the ping pong fellowship. If somebody wants to learn about gymnastics from the Ethiopia, you can give the fellowship to them. So in the next Olympic, you guys take gold, give us silver. <laughs>